what's up guys welcome to the new video on this tutorial today we are going to take a look at tiled uh, this software is going to help us with editing maps create levels and uh, generate uh, game objects without uh, you know programming them and create them inside our python arcade code so this is a very very useful tool for you to speed up your development process and it also gives you an artistic and more artistic view to uh, how your game will look after your uh, design so let's take a look at this alright so the software itself is pretty much easy to get started with you can use the documentations here uh, which will help you to uh, get started with the uh, project itself. You can see it's uh, pretty much explaining everything that you can do with the software. So I highly encourage you to do take a look at this yourself um, and uh, find the techniques that you will be using into your uh, own game. So um, by clicking on this you can um, get your application as you can see it's a free software and has multiple versions such as window mac and linux which i will be using the linux version and uh, i'm going to just uh, go through some basics inside the software and you can um, explore it more uh, yourself and uh, find your own way inside the software once you're done with installing the software, you can see the current window and you can start a new project by clicking on the new map. Okay, as you can see, we have the uh, a new window. Uh, for Python Arcade, you need to set some specific information uh, and start your project. So for orientation, we are going to uh, go with uh, the default value for the tile uh, layer. You're going to be changing it to base 64. And uh, for the render order, we are going to select it to write down as it is selected. Um, you can also set the, uh, you know, the required values here for width and height uh, you don't have to select the same as mine just go with whatever your project needs and you can save your new map uh, by clicking on this button which uh, will give you a .tmx file which you will be saving and you will be loading inside your python arcade code okay let's let me just go ahead and save this Let's call this my map. So in this one, we are just going to explore the software and uh, we are not going to actually use the map we are creating here. Since we are using the uh, documentation tutorial, we are going to go with that uh, map, but we are going to take a look at the software itself and how to draw and load the tiles. So let's get started. So uh, the UI is pretty much simple. Uh, as you can see, we have a layer section here. Uh, this section you can in this section you can just create multiple layers. For example, for objects, for background, for uh, multiple uh, layers that you are going to have in your game. Uh, you can have like a wall layer here. As I, I said, you can have a background layer which user cannot click or interact with and uh, other objects as your game requires. So first of all, let's go ahead and change this, the name of this layer to platforms. By platforms, we are referring to the objects that are going to be act as a going to act as a wall and we are not going to interact with them as much as we are going to interact for example with uh, coins or other objects 
The next thing we are going to do is that we are going to load our tiles. So right now the software for uh, Python Arcade only supports uh, the a collection of tiles. So to load your tiles, go to the layers here in this section and click on the new tile set you have to select the collection of images since you are going to load your data to the Python Arcade and Python Arcade only supports uh, collections. So uh, check this uh, embedding map as well and just name it whatever you like, like my tiles and click OK. All right, so now we have uh, our uh, tile set here. We need to load our images to the tile set. Uh, you can just uh, load your tile sets here, load your images and assets. In this tutorial, we are using the uh, resources from Python Arcade itself, which are the default resources. So I just copied and pasted uh, the some of the tiles from the library to the project directory uh, so let's go and load our data so this is the same the same operation for any asset that you want to load in inside your um, uh, software so just click on add tiles and uh, as you can see I have added all of these to the directory let's select them all but by uh, having control A and open. As you can see, we have all our tiles here. Let's close this window, save. We have all our assets here. As you can see, we can use them to create our desired uh, map. Let's start with this one. You can uh, just click and click the uh, target cell inside your map and just uh, you know draw as simple as that the great thing about this uh, compared to the previous method that we used to create our map is that you have full control uh, and you'll see what you'll create real time so this is a great thing to learn and uh, use inside your game so I highly encourage you to use this instead of just coding your object inside your game and uh, yeah as you can see you can be more creative and uh, create whatever shape you like inside your game okay when you're done you can just uh, save your map file and you are going to load this map using Python Arcade and load it into your uh, code. So let's go and do that. Okay guys, now uh, we need to load the map that we just created in tiled into our game environment. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to demonstrate how to load the uh, map. We're going to use a different map for the other episodes of the tutorial so I'm gonna temporarily make some changes here uh, you don't have to change these you're going to change them appropriately uh, on the next episode but for now I'm just going to demonstrate to you how you can load your the map you just created in the tiled so let's remove some of the parts that we do not need these are for uh, creation of walls and coins and positioning them so we are not going to use these uh, we need the character but we are going to uh, place our code here since we are going to make the physics engine after we loaded our uh, map data so let's start by loading uh, by creating a new variable here called the map name and for the map name, you just need to add the directory that you just saved your .tmx file, which is your map. Uh, I 
saved it in my root directory so I'm going to load it here my um, map .txt uh, I'm sorry dot let me just uh, my map .tmx okay tmx all right so we have our directory for the map and we need to s uh, set up the name that we just uh, set for our platforms layer which was platforms and so let's create that a new variable here and there uh, name and let's just name it platform it's important that these names be accurate since you are going to access the layers accordingly by uh, having these names so we have this as well uh, we don't have any coins in our map so now we just need to load it so let's create another variable here my map and uh, let's use arcade.tilemap that read tmx so you can use this function to load your um, map so let's pass our map directory here and uh, now we just need to uh, select the wall list and uh, from the layer that uh, from the layer of map that we just loaded so let's get our uh, wall list variable we defined earlier and let's uh, get our tile map and use process layer function so the process layer function um, gets you the objects that you need and uh, returns the objects uh, for you to have them uh, separate them for example we have walls here we can have other coins we can have uh, maybe other barriers we we need to differentiate so we can use these function to use this function to separate them and have them inside our arcade code so let's uh, select the object map object my map let's uh, select the layer name as we said this should be accurate and uh, let's set the scaling to tile scaling and of course we are going to use uh, the spatial sorry typo use spatial hash set this one to true okay so now that we have our wall list here uh, we can uh, do another thing that if we define any background inside our uh, tile map we can choose that instead of the one that we have here <coughs> so we can set an if function here that if my map dot background color was not none uh, we can set the arcade dot set background color that we have uh, explored earlier in the tutorial to my map dot background color all right great and uh, this one is the physics engine we define to interact with our objects uh, we just need to be careful to define this after the changes here so uh, these uh, changes apply to the uh, physics engine one more change that I would like to make here these are temporary changes since I'm just going to show you how to uh, you know make it the load map data into your game is that I changed the height of our initial height for player sprite here since uh, I have uh, draw the map layers uh, the platforms a bit higher than the uh, lower level so I set this to 700 and let's uh, load the game see how we have made the changes alright so as you can see we have loaded our uh, map 
the map is pretty ugly since I just draw it for uh, you know demonstration on how to load the map uh, but you can be creative uh, and uh, make your own map and create I know you can make uh, very creative maps as well so uh, we have loaded our map as you can see our um, player sprite can interact with these we have all our sound effects and etc that we defined uh, so in the next tutorial we are going to uh, make it a bit uh, more uh, you know playable so I'm going to load the uh, default resource map for this uh, project and we are going to add multiple layers uh, levels as well so stay tuned and see you in the next episode